Peace, peace. What's going on, guys? We all heard the news about Kevin Samuels passing away last week. And I apologize for not doing a video sooner uh, because uh, when he passed away that Thursday, I was at work and plus uh, Mother's Day came around. So I had to do some family stuff and, you know, things, stuff like that. So so right now it's uh, Monday, Monday. Uh, May the 9th, 2022. And it's very sad that uh, the brother, the godfather, the great legend, uh, Mr. Kevin Samuels, has made the transition. And I, I've been a, a fan of Kevin Samuels maybe like, I would say, two years ago when I first discovered Kevin, Sam Kevin Samuels. Uh, through Donovan Sharp, when Donovan Sharp mentioned um, Kevin Samuels, I went ahead, I went ahead and I checked out his channel, and uh, ever since uh, I was addicted to Kevin Samuels, and one thing that Kevin Samuels represented was this is just this is just my personal opinion, this is my my personal view on it. Uh, Kevin Samuels, he represented, he, he was like the voice of the intelligent black men out there, the intelligent black men who work, went to college, did all the right things, the intelligent black men who, who were raised by single mothers, who listened to their mamas, who are who were respectful to women, did all, you know, did all the things right, were gentlemen. Open open the door for the lady. Pay for her lunch. Did all the right things, but were dis disrespected by the very black women that they uh, wanted to have relationships with, have be married to, have children with. And uh, Kevin Samuels pretty much like he was like the voice of the frustration of, of uh, brothers. Who were like, hey, I did all the right things, you know? Why are these women have the crazy? Why, why is it that every black woman I meet, or they already have kids by uh, thugs and Pookie and Ray Rays, and you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that? Why are they rejecting the good guys and having babies by the bad, by these bad boys? While I'm doing the right thing, he pretty Kevin Samuels pretty much was like the voice for that uh, for black men like us. And he finally and he finally said a lot of things that were like bottled bottled up in, in, in our chest that we wanted to get out, but we couldn't because of quick ridicule, uh, being chastised, stuff like that. So uh, that's what Kevin Kevin Samuels kind of represented, and also he he pretty much uh, shed the light, put the spotlight on black women, how majority of black women actually act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, black women are like a protected class. It's like, you know, black women, they're strong, independent. They don't need no man. And they got all their priorities straight. They out there ball, being a boss bitch. And, <laughs> you know, it's all this kind of stuff. But the Kevin Samuels pretty much, like, put a spotlight on that. Talking about, hey, this is not how black women are. Black women are human. They have flaws. They have character flaws. They got issues. They're not as black women are not black women are not as pure or uh, they're not as mature or wise as the general population thought they were. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Kevin Samuels uh, brought that <laughs> brought that to the uh, the mainstream. So it's like people of all races outside the black community were actually like looking at black women. Like, hey, this is how they all really are. Us black guys, we already do that for like a long time. But uh but it's very sad that, you know, uh the godfather passed away. And uh and this uh I don't know how um this is gonna I don't know how this gonna this is going to affect the manosphere. I don't know how it's gonna affect the red pill, I don't know how it's gonna affect uh you know, from now on, you know, like the whole YouTube the manosphere arena i don't know how it's going to have an impact uh we'll we, we wait and see and this and there's still it's, and there's still like a lot of things we don't know you know the, the circumstances of his death 
Uh, we got like the basic details about it, but we just still like a lot of stuff that's still like vague about exactly how he died. All that all that we know was like he died in his apartment. You know, he had a woman there who was, I guess, he was dating dating her, or whatever. She was a nurse, and then uh, they went to the, went back to his apartment. He, he had chest pains and he passed out, and she called nine one one. And uh, it turns out they said that he died of a cardiac arrest. And, uh, you know, a lot of theories are saying, like, uh, he was drinking too many Red Bulls. Cause, you know, if you watch Kevin Samuels, he, he drinks Red Bulls on, on almost every show. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, a man at his age shouldn't be drinking, like, energy drinks like that, you know. And plus, he's a cancer survivor. And uh, people who are... Went through uh, either like chemo chemotherapy or whatever, whatever cancer treatment it uh weakens your heart. So him drinking, you know, him drinking real bulls probably had that probably played a factor in him uh, having cardiac arrest. Um, there's other like theories out there that's that's foul play. There's no not impossible, but there's really no evidence. You know, in order for like. For that to be considered, we got to know who that who this woman is, who this mysterious woman is, her background. You know, all thing we know is she's a nurse. Or I mean, but I'm sure that if there is like foul play or something fishy going on. I'm sure like within the next couple of days, couple of weeks, more information, more information will come out concerning that. But in the meantime, we we should not jump to conspiracy theories at this time. At this time, we sh we should just focus on honoring the man, paying our respects, um, be grateful for the information that he brought forth to the masses, and uh, condolences to his family. I know he had a, a one daughter, biological daughter. I think he has some, he, no, he has some uh, stepchildren from a previous marriage. So uh, we we should send our condolences to Kevin Samuel's mother, his his family. And just uh, honor his name and keep his memory alive. Uh, that's all I got to say for this video. I don't want to make this video very long. I don't want to drag it on for too long. Because everybody on YouTube has made the Kevin Samuels video already. Uh, but that's all I had to say. And it's very sad that, you know, Kevin Samuels died. He's like the last person I would expect to die prematurely out of all the people out there. You know, saying, you know, because Kevin Samuels, he was classy, he was intelligent, he was civilized, clean cut. So I, I was thinking to myself while well, back, it's like, he's going to be around until he's 98 years old. Everybody's, everybody's gone. <laughs> you know you what know, I'm saying? Because it's usually like the people who you least expect who die prematurely, you know, because you got like other people. I'm not going to name people, but you got people out there who live like a wild lifestyle. And stuff like that, and they live like a long life, long life, and everything. But Kevin Samuels, he was like he lived like seemed like he he lived like a very upscale, classy, clean cut. He was like a clean cut guy, wear a suit up, suit and tie all the time. I'm, you know, he wasn't wild and all this kind of stuff. And you assume somebody like that would like live, you know, you know, live like a long, long time because they pretty much like live a safe lifestyle. But you know, that's life. Things happen. But uh. That's all I got to say. If you want to comment, comment below. Like the video. You know, I accept all criticisms. If you disagree, comment below. And peace.